Hey, how's everyone doing today? I'm Che Durain and we're back again with some most amazing top 10 scary stories. Now, one of the hardest parts about growing up is lower back pain. But number two is definitely rent. And the best way to cut down on rent is to get a roommate. The only problem is you never know who you're moving in with. It could be someone with a heart of gold or someone who wants to suck on your toothbrush. Uh, so today, we're going through the top 10 scary roommate stories. Stick around to see the top two. There's some of the craziest things we could find if the law had to get involved. Number 10, I think my roommate wants to kill me. A big mistake you can make when it comes to a roommate is moving in with your friend. You think it'll be fun and then you find out the real them and that they wipe back to front. Or something much worse happened to redditor shyfons underscore one. She moved in with her best friend and then started noticing she would snap back and forth between this charming cute girl with big doe eyes to staring daggers at her and snapping at her for the smallest thing. I think I dated this girl. She also said this girl would have vivid nightmares with blood and knives and unknown bodies, blood coming down from the walls, blood in the sinks, knives under her pillows, bodies in the yard. She also had a deadly stare and this dead look in her eyes. Oh, I definitely dated this girl. This story doesn't have a follow up, so we don't know what happened with this roommate situation or this horrific friendship. Number nine, Carl. First rule of roommates is you should probably get to know them before you give them the keys to your place and you leave to go on vacation for two months. You don't want to end up like Redditor VYF8AC. She was living with her boyfriend at the time and they needed a third to help cut cost. So they put a call out and met Carl. Carl seemed like an ordinary guy, he had a job, he didn't smell bad. He checked all the good boxes for a new roommate. This was until her and her boyfriend went on vacation. While on vacation, they got a call from Carl that he had lost his job and needed to move out. Not a big deal, they told him the damage deposit would cover next month's rent and that he could move out shortly after that. But weird stuff started when they got back from their trip and saw a bunch of suitcases and a woman named Nancy. They asked who she was and she said, what are you doing in Carl's apartment? Apparently where they're gone, Carl had put the couple's room up for listing and Nancy was just moving in. Carl was at work while this was happening so the three got to hash it out and Nancy had mentioned that Carl had been putting peanuts in the milk. And this Redditor's boyfriend is deathly allergic to peanuts. He would have died if he drank the milk, which Carl apparently knew. It wasn't long after that that Carl came home, was confronted by the three and kicked out. And get this, on the way out, he was trying to get the boyfriend to drink the milk. What was his plan? Murder two people and then sit on a lease? I mean, for cheap rent in Toronto, I kind of understand. Number eight, baby bird. One of the hardest things about roommates is you have to share a fridge. People you don't know. People who don't know how to throw out their old food and ends up stinking up the whole fridge. Sometimes they'll take your food without asking. Sometimes they'll take your juice and leave just a little bit at the bottom, acting like they left you some, Michael. Sorry, but nothing really stacks up to this when it comes to creepy subreddit things. This post was found on the Creep subreddit. Someone posted about a baby bird they found in a Ziploc bag on a freezer, even had a date on it. You might be thinking, oh, maybe this was an experiment. Uh, but the comments clear that up pretty quickly, and she says her roommate isn't a scientist, but she's in theater. She was too scared to ask her roommate why she had a dead bird in the freezer, and why would anyone think it's okay to keep a dead bird in the same place I keep my frozen Michelinas, Michael? Number seven, creepy Craigslist roommate. Imagine you're young, moving to a new city for college, you're on Craigslist to find a roommate. Well, that's when bad things can happen, when you go on Craigslist to find someone to share your most intimate space with. Well, Redditor Mac1187 found Beth. At first, she seemed normal. The first night he moved in, they went up for pizza, and she kept saying he looked like Shyla LaBeouf, which didn't seem weird until they got back to the apartment and she invited him to see her room, which was plastered with posters of Shyla LaBeouf. After this, he almost never saw her. He would only hear her giggling from her room, and occasionally she would stand in the hallway and just stare at him. One night, Beth was drunk and stumbled into the living room. She started telling our friend from Reddit the story of her ex-boyfriend, which got her very worked up and she ended up yelling that she would slit his throat. This obviously freaked him out, so that night when he went to bed, he barricaded his door with a dresser. Later that night, he woke up to the sound of the dresser scraping the floor and Beth trying to break in. He stopped her, she went back to her room, but in the morning, when he walked out of his room, he saw a giant steak knife right outside the door. So he immediately found a new place to live, moved out of there, and the day he moved out, he received 40 text messages from the girl that ranged from how are you to I'm gonna kill myself! Wow. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! 
Number six, the little mermaid. Now it can be hard to share your space with say, a human, but how about someone who believes they're a witch slash mermaid? Now no one would ever pick this, in fact if you're ever moving in with someone, one of the first things you should ask is what's the worst thing about you? If their answer is I keep a six foot mermaid tail in the common spaces and practice witchcraft, just hold out for a nicer place. But this story happens in college, and you get assigned your roommates in college. This poor girl got paired with someone who believes she's a mythical creature. She got permission from the school to swim with her tail in the school pool, so there was always a six foot mermaid tail hanging out like the third roommate. Terrible, you just get to college, you're trying to make new friends, and everyone knows you as the girl who smells like fish. Number five, surprise boyfriend. Redditor Hassan Ice Crunch had a terrifying unexpected visitor. She came home one day to find her ex-boyfriend slash ex-roommate in her apartment. He still had a key. He then attacked her, grabbed her, and locked her in a room with him. The worst part about this is her other roommate saw this happening and just got scared and hid in his room. He didn't call the police, he didn't try to help. Not cool bro. She was able to escape later once her ex fell asleep and then quickly went to the police and also got the locks changed. Also gave her roommate the worst friend of all time award. Number four, disturbing note. A very common thing with roommates is every now and again you get one that likes to leave you posted notes about little things they don't like, like don't leave your laundry here, empty the dishwasher, stop watching me sleep. Well this one is creepier than all of those. On the creepy subreddit, we found someone who posted a pic of a note left by a roommate and the note said, the devil loves you. Not one, not two, but 20 times. Ugh, that would freak me out. I'm just trying to figure out what devil love looks like without simultaneously ending up a lampshade. Number three, secret roommate. You move into a new place and you keep hearing footsteps. Sometimes when you come home, the cupboards are open and you can't remember if it was you or if you have a ghost. How about neither? A couple of guys going to Ohio State University had this happen. They had just found a great place to live, so close to campus, but they would often hear strange noises. There was a door that was locked that looked like it lead to a basement, but they thought it was just a utility closet. One day they heard all sorts of beeping noises coming through the door and they decided to investigate. They broke the door down to find a fully furnished room. It had framed pictures, textbooks, someone had been secretly living in their apartment this entire time. The mystery squatter wasn't there at the time, so they quickly got people to remove all of his things. Number two, roommate cleaning your food. This story was covered by ABC News and it's about Haley King. Haley and her roommates were fighting, so her roommates asked her to move out, which she refused. So her roommates set up a sting with a hidden camera they put in the kitchen and saw her spitting in their food. and pouring Windex in it. If my roommate set up a camera in the kitchen, all they would see is me pretending to be a celebrity chef and having one of those fake arguments about something that happened six years ago. Haley admitted to the crimes and may face up to 20 years in jail. And at number one on the list, roommate wanted female only. So, a very important part about going apartment shopping is go with someone. You have no idea who your potential roommate is. Amanda didn't do this and what happened to her was insane. She saw an ad on Craigslist that read, roommate wanted, female only. Now do you really need more red flags than a Craigslist ad looking for women? The ad should just say, I want to smell your hair and wear it. Well Amanda went to go see the apartment, thinking the owner was female. But when she got there, there was a guy in his mid 40s. He had a gut, he was unshaven, he was more disheveled than Homer Simpson. He started showing around the place. It was disgusting. There was no furniture, some of the rooms were boarded up. Not suspicious at all. After the tour, he says, oh, I haven't shown you the basement yet. At this point, if you get murdered, it's kind of just Darwinism. Luckily, Amanda gets a text message, which she pretends is a phone call, and she rushes out of there. When she gets home, she calls the police, who investigate the house. The boarded up room was apparently his room, and all that was in there was some moldy clothes, and it was covered in clippings of porno mags, like the world's saddest sex dungeon. Then, the police found a piece of fishing twine over one of the steps going down to the basement. It was booby trapped. There was also a bunch of belts that were probably used to tie someone up. Thank God Amanda got that phone call. 
Well guys, that's our list. Let us know in the comments which ones were your favorites. Let us know which ones you felt should have been added to the list. Like always, make sure you comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. And until next time, make sure you're doing your background checks.